Hey folks, how you doing today? I was working on my series called How to Install a New Landscape and I found this clip of, of killing the garden with a dingo. And I thought, you know, some of you guys might enjoy watching it. So what I want to do is just kind of talk you through what's going on here. Uh, if anybody here is bored with this, they want to go on to the next video in the series where I'm going to talk a little bit about uh, how I choose topsoil. Just go ahead and click next video on the bottom left of the screen there. So what you're watching me do here is, is till the grass uh, as I'm making a new bed. And I'm using my uh, Toro Dingo. It's got a 25 horsepower gas engine and the tiller. And what I'll usually do is I'll actually spread some compost on top of the grass and then till it in. But on this day, I didn't have any compost. So I just went ahead and tilled the grass in. But I think that was a good idea anyways because there's quite a bit of grass and the, the more you can beat it up before you start installing the landscape, the better. Now, I used to do what you're seeing here with a Troy built tiller. I had like a seven horsepower Troy built tiller. And what I would do is I would just have one guy drive the tiller through the bed all day and the other guy would go ahead and spread compost and it would just be a, a constant process. And the amazing thing about uh, the Toro Dingo is it's so heavy that you can do just a ton more in a lot less time. Uh, with that Dingo Tiller, I can make one pass through the bed, maybe two passes, and they're ready to go. Whereas with the Troy Built Tiller or, or any walk behind Tiller, it's just not the same machine. You don't have that weight pushing down. So, uh, you know, I did actually end up selling, once I got the Toro Dingo, I did end up selling my, uh, my Troy Builds because it, it just, um, it was way more work than it had to be. It was, it was too complex. Uh, if you're a homeowner and you're just doing one garden, though, there's nothing wrong whatsoever from going down to your rental place and just getting a tiller uh, and renting the tiller to, to do this work. Um, as you're watching this video, I just want to let you know if you can hear the sound of the dingo. I usually run the dingo around 27, 2800 RPM. When I'm tilling, uh, the dingo goes up to about 3600 RPM. For me, I find a lot of times if I go to 3600 RPM, the machine gets very loud. And it also, it's a little bit too snappy. So I kind of like 27, 2800 RPM. It seems to have the power I need. It's a little slower, and it's just uh, it's a more relaxed pace for me. You know, as you can see, it's pretty straightforward. Um, all I'm doing is I just put the tiller pretty much parallel to the ground. I try not to push down too much because you end up like pulling a lot of dirt in front of the tiller. And then you just, you know, slowly walk backwards. You know, you do have to pay attention. You don't walk into something uh, and, you know, get crushed or, or bump your head into something. But um, it's a pretty straightforward process. And, you know, the, the length of the video, of this whole video clip is going to be about seven minutes long. And uh, you can get quite a bit done uh, pretty quickly with that dingo. So I'm not really sure what more I could say about the Dingo guys. I think it's a wonderful machine. I really think it, you know, it, it saves me a lot of work on these jobs. But if you don't have a Dingo, please don't think you can't do jobs like this without it. You know, you could certainly use a wheelbarrow and a shovel to move topsoil. You could use a, a walk behind tiller to, uh, to do the work. Uh, just because the jobs you're watching me do in the series, uh, you know, I do these jobs all year round. Uh, it just saves me a lot of time and a lot of effort to, to use the dingo. Uh, there's still going to be another couple minutes left of the video. You're welcome to watch if you like. But whenever you're ready, please go ahead and click on next video. And we will discuss what does good topsoil look like. We'll see you soon, guys.